All right, so today I'm going to show you how to conduct text sentiment analysis in R. So we'll be pulling tweets from the Twitter web API, comparing each word in the tweet to a positive and negative word bank, and then using a basic algorithm to determine the overall sentiment. We'll then create several charts and graphs to organize the data. Okay, so go ahead and load R, and I am using version 2.15.2, and that's the latest version, and I strongly suggest upgrading to that version. So the overall workflow that we're going to follow is simple. So we're going to start by pulling the tweets, extracting all the text from the tweets, loading the word banks in the algorithm script, which I have to give credit to Jeffrey Breen for, and then we'll conduct the analysis. And also just to note, I'm not the best with R, so just bear with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and establish the working directory. So set working directory. I've already set up this file for this folder. Sentiment. All right, so let's start by pulling the tweets now. So you want to first install the Twitter package, which is used to extract tweets from the Twitter web API. And you just say install.packages. Grab all the dependencies as well. And it's returning that just because I've already got it installed. So then you want to go ahead and load that package as well as the plier package. So to do that, library Twitter, and then not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, library plier. So now let's pull some tweets. And so you can use whatever hashtag you want. But try to pick something you know will have plenty of positive and negative tweets, like a political issue. In this example, I'll be fetching tweets on abortion. So I'm just going to say tweets equals search Twitter. Abortion. And I'm going to pull 1500. And whatever you do search for, just make sure there is plenty of available data. You can see the number of tweets pulled by using the length function. And you can see that I pulled 1,500. Now, I'm not 100% positive, but I believe you can only pull 1,500 tweets at a time. I'm sure there's a way to bypass that restriction, but for this demo, 1,500 is plenty of tweets. So next we're going to extract all the text from the tweets. So let's call it tweets.text. Functions laply tweets function t and I'm not 100 percent sure that's right, but ah, it worked. Okay, so now we're going to load the word banks and the algorithm, all of which can be downloaded from my GitHub repository. And the link for that is in this video's description. So once you have that downloaded, go ahead and add those to the working directory folder that we set earlier. And then we need to go ahead and load them in R. So for the positive word bank, I'll call it positive. The name of the file is positive words.txt keep forgetting the quotes ah. text I cannot type today okay so let's do the negative ones now and now we'll grab the algorithm okay so finally let's go ahead and conduct the analysis so let's call it analysis equals score dot sentiment tweets dot text 
positive words, negative words. Okay, so now we can do some quick analysis. So let's go ahead and start with a frequency distribution. So table analysis. Look at the scores. So the algorithm calculated these scores for the tweets. Everything from positive three to negative six. Anything that is greater than one or less than negative one is either very positive or very negative, respectively. And this bottom row is the total number of tweets, and these will add up to 1,500. So you can see 603 tweets were scored zero, 229 were scored one, and so forth. So let's take a look at the mean now. And then the median. And let me also go ahead and pull up a histogram. And the histogram will just help us better visualize the distribution of scores. So you can see overall the Twitter nation is very neutral on the subject. You can see that the mean is a little bit below zero and the median is obviously zero. Well actually probably if you eliminated zero and just took a look at everything else, the data is probably heavily weighted towards the negative side. All right, so why is this information so valuable? So basically over the last five years or so, sentiment analysis has become incredibly important due to growth in social networks. Companies can obtain people's real opinions about their products and services and monitor the effectiveness, effectiveness of ad campaigns and marketing blitzes. Well, anyway, that's it for today. So next time I'll go over how to analyze these results and how to update the algorithm so that the analysis is more accurate. Please comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.